and we are ready for the uh, next game uh, of this uh, two semi-finals we are watching the first place Verdansk playing the fourth place Les Elephants right here at Rutherford Park this is Robert McCafferty on the commentary the last one of the season as next uh, Sunday my colleague uh, Graham Naismith will be taking back the realms for the final one of these teams is gonna go to the finals on Sunday as we just watched now the uh, first of two semi-finals which was uh, the White Eagles playing FC United as the White Eagles uh, won it by a score of 3 to 1. FC Verdansk has been in first place for pretty much the entire season and uh, they are in their orange and black kits running from uh, right to left unfortunately they have been having uh, problems with their kits as many of them do not have numbers and uh, the les elephants playing tonight in their white kits moving from left to right this is the the second game so far tonight uh, right here at Rutherford Park this is an open space a public field where oh they push there to the ground and the referee uh, Ashu doesn't say anything lets it lets it fly at the center tonight is Cameroonian referee Fonderson Ashu first assistant is Igor Harkshu from Belarus second assistant uh, over onto the far top of your screen is Mano Gavales from Greece and of course fourth official is veteran Azmikaya as the fourth official which he just officiated just previously Fonderson Ashu already uh, uh, setting his authority with his whistle as we can see him uh, whistling and talking over to one of the players foul has been uh, accorded ball being sent up that ball is going to roll out for a goal kick. Heavily favored in tonight's game is Verdansk, as uh, Verdansk has the upper advantage over the two games they played uh, against the uh, Les Elephants. Les Elephants in fourth place, of course. So wh whoever uh, passes on to the next round will be facing uh, the White Eagles. This is the Premiership de Montreal, a division of the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. Just out for a throw-in. Players to watch for on the uh, Verdansk team is obviously number 70, Yusuf. And that ball, there's a ball in the middle of the field, so the referee has lifted his flag and the whistle has been blown. As we saw in the previous game, a ball was in the field, but the referee had allowed it to uh, to go on, and they had scored a goal. Drop in now for this uh, for this uh, keeper to clear the ball. Crowd is still there. Mostly the White Eagles fans are. Having a little, uh, a little uh, brouhaha there, a little party right after their victory against FC United. Verdansk is going to be looking for a way to get them on top very early in the game. They're going to want to impose their style and their authority onto the pitch. Of course, uh, Les Elephants are not going to be an easy opponent as they did not show up here to lose. They are clearly here to win. And over on my side, uh, some of the remnants of the previous game is still here. As we can hear uh, the uh, FC United players getting dressed and ready to, to leave. 
not unhappy over their defeat but uh, definitely bittersweet as they had worked so hard to remain into second and uh, vying for the first place position but unfortunately just ran out of gas in that uh, in that last uh, semi-final nice counter here for uh, Les Elephants defense of uh, uh, Verdanks is always as strong and of course uh, defends it well Ball moving up here on top of the left side for Les Elephants an opportunity here for a cross in Here's an opportunity now, a nice shot on net and just sails right past the keeper. He didn't even see that coming. Five minutes in and the Zelefon is up by a goal. A definite surprise here as uh, Verdice was not expecting that. Let's take a look at the replay. Cross in for the player and just sails it past. Took his opportunity to just send it in. And of course the keeper just simply didn't understand what was happening. So now the Les Elephants with a one goal lead uh, very early into this game. They're going to try to impose their own style. And of course FC Verdanks uh, doesn't take well to these kind of uh, uh, very early advances. So they're going to be coming out early and as well to play aggressive in order to get back uh, that lost goal. Handball there, advantage for uh, Verdansk. Verdansk uh, is the former uh, uh, selection team from 2019. They are the uh, champions from that season. <clears throat> they took a hiatus year off on 2020 as it was a shortened season and they were not inclined uh, to play especially during the COVID uh, conditions. <clears throat> but here Verdanks came on top the entire season staying in first place. And uh, ball being played up on top of the left side for Verdanks, a good counter now. But the defense, uh, Les Enfants defense is there first. And uh, throw in now. Nice deep uh, throw in for the Zelefon. The Zelefon squandered that ball, unfortunately, and that will be out for uh, Verdanks throw in. Verdanks took their name from a very popular online game which uh, I'm sure many of them were playing during the uh, COVID uh, lockdowns of this past winter. The season started late uh, this year on the 22nd of June after the government gave uh, permission for uh, the season to resume. And uh, oh, a nice shot on net, of course. Oh, just on the crossbar. And that is gonna be out for a goal kick. All teams had to sacrifice and uh, play a full 14-game uh, season where many of the teams had to play twice a week on uh, Sunday and Thursday. Little, little back and forth here, but Verdanks coming out on top. Defense uh, is there. Verdanks on top of the left side looking for a way in. The Les Elephants team are collectively a younger squad. Les Elephants coming mostly as expatriates from uh, the powerful nation, powerful footballing nation of Cote d'Ivoire. And that ball drops in, uh, drops out rather for Les Elephants throw in. Verdanks are, are members uh, predominantly from the Middle East. They are students and workers, all expats. 
living here and playing their football together. We're here at Rutherford Park because the uh, Molson Stadium is occupied tonight on this fine Thursday evening. Foul now. Advantage for Les Elephants. Change here has been called. And it seems like uh, referee uh, referee Ashu is having a problem sending in one of the uh, match delegates to uh, to verify what's going on on behind the net. And that ball is going to run in uh, deep. Foul now. Advantage for uh, Verdansk. <laughs> Wind is uh, beginning to pick up as you can hear it on our mics. Oh, a turnover now. Good way to keep, uh, keep uh, the defense uh, sharp. Verdanks now with uh, ball moving around. Turnover now, but back up to the defense. Oh, and here's an opportunity, but it's an offside. And uh, lucky for Verdanks here because they've been taken completely off their guard. Seems like Verdanks is a bit uh, disoriented. Although they practice on this field, so they, they should know the parameters but definitely have been taken off guard as they are looking for a way to get back into the game quickly. Ball goes out again for advantage Les Elephants. And ball moving around. Turnover now for Les Elephants advantage here on top of the left side. We're going to look for another cross in. They're being challenged here, Verdanks. They're not used to that. And that ball is going to roll out for a corner kick. Ball dropping in right into the hands of the Verdansk keeper. We seem to be having a rather noisy dog here on the sidelines. Oh, a push to the ground here, and a foul is definitely going to be called. That's against Yusuf number 70. And it looks like Yusuf collects a card, not really, oh, both both players get, get the, the card. Not understanding why, it should have been just one booking. The referee's not ready to give uh, both times, uh, Verdanks was trying to play it... Uh, was trying to play it uh, quickly. There seems to be another booking here on this play. Very surprising here. I don't don't quite understand what's going on. There's a lot of talk back. Referee should be having a better control of the game. Referee now allows uh, the startup. That uh, was a very uh, confusing moment there. Verdanks uh, playing on top of the left side. And that ball is going to roll out for the Zelefon throw in. Zelefon up on top by a score of 1 0. This is going to play to their advantage. 
Although Verdansk is the heavy favorite of this game, most probably be, will be a Verdansk versus uh, versus the White Eagles in the uh, in the final. Should be a good final, as the last time they met, uh, the uh, White Eagles completely uh, took them by surprise, where Adam Peters scored a hat trick right up into the dying minutes of the game. Verdansk now on the left side, moving it around. Good piece of defensive work, and that ball is going to roll out. Verdansk going to throw that ball back in very quickly. And once again, that ball is going to roll out for another throw in. 15 minutes in, you're watching Premiership de Montreal here at the Canadian Corporate Soccer League, where we are at Rutherford Field. We're right downtown in the heart of uh, Montreal. Yeah. Montreal is right behind those trees, and the McGill campus is uh, just around the corner. Another throw in here for uh, Les Elephants. Nice long throw. Les Elephants play collectively a very good game, a uh, very young team with uh, some good ball handling skills. Where they lack is in the finishing, as their strikers are not necessarily always there. And of course, having more consistency in their goalkeeping can definitely help them in the long term. Bredanks, on the other hand, is a very well-oiled machine. A lot of chemistry, as these young lads have all played together very well. Most of them playing within the university system or within the uh, city uh, teams. A lot of them have been uh, trained in their respective countries within the youth academies. And have brought with them a lot of skill sets uh, playing together. And of course their result for the entire season of remaining in first place is a testament to that skill level. Their downfall is usually discipline as they uh, either talk too much to the referee and collect too many bookings, as we've already seen so far 17 minutes into this game. And of course, uh, they also lack a permanent goalkeeper to help them uh, in, their, in their pursuit. They have a very strong uh, defense, strong mids, and when their strikers are healthy, it's only magic on the field. PizzaPizza.ca is our sponsor. Always fresh. Go ahead and order your pizza tonight directly online. Nice uh, opportunity here on the right side. That ball goes out. Uh, in time for a throw in and it will be to the advantage of uh, Verdansk just out again for Verdansk throw in Ludovic as you can see him on the side he's the coach of Les Elephants side also a former player foul now being set up as the Verdansk player getting ready for that uh, kick in in a dangerous part of the pitch a nice little dive in and right into the arms of the keeper and that's going to roll out for a corner kick play quickly Verdansk is going to look to a way to capitalize on this back up on the right side over to the middle number 7 on top of that ball over on the right and that ball is going to roll out. And it looks like the referee made a mistake here because it definitely hit the Verdansk player. Lighting is very poor here at Rutherford Field, so mistakes like that can happen. Verdansk still on top of that ball, looking for a way in. 
Slide tackle there, doesn't hit their mark. And that ball's gonna roll out for an elephant throw in. Ball thrown in uh, now by Verdansk. Verdansk on top of that ball. Running around into their defense. And that's going to go out again for a Verdang's throw in. Verdang's has the upper hand though here so far. Majority possession on for them. Although they are down by a goal. After a defensive error led to a very nice Elephant goal. Elephant here on top of the left side for a nice counter cross in and headed out by their defender but just in time to keep that ball into play by Les Elephants and Les Elephants now getting into a pass oh nice roll through and just out for a goal kick rather annoying to hear that dog bark on the side but uh, we'll have to make do this is a public park, as I mentioned before, and so you can clearly see people in behind the nets uh, playing with the ball. Zelifon moving that ball around over in the middle side, moving it over to the left, looking for a cross in. Oh, good piece of defense work. But the Zelifon are on top of it. now playing around moving that ball around sending that ball in deep over onto the right side no numbered shirt is uh, over there here's another opportunity right at the middle side and the defense is there first Verdanks back on top of the ball moving it in again defended by Les Elephants Les Elephants once again Moving that ball over onto the left side. Countered now. And the Zelephant recoup to get access to that ball. Verdansk. The Zelephant now moving in. Over on top of the left side. Thanks at the middle side, moving that ball around well. Turnover now for Les Elephants over on top of the left side. Oh, and now an opportunity. Verdanks' uh, defense is not there. Cross in, and the keeper is there just in time to get access to that ball. And now the team will look for a counter. Verdanks, nice ball through. Good opportunity here over on the right side. Looking for that cross in. There it is. Nobody's there though. And just off of the defense, in time to be saved by the Zelephant keeper. Good clear. That ball's gonna sink in. The dance on top of that. The Zelephant recoup that ball. The Zelephon last their, lost their last game of the season against um, Sasquatch, 1-0 game up on Forbes Field. Whistle now for an offside. Enough uh, opportunity to switch, and of course the referee did not allow it. The, the player didn't understand and wanted to come off the pitch. The 
Referee is being called there for a substitution, and the substitution has just been given now in the 25th minute of play. The Zelenfall is up by uh, by one point as we start bringing in uh, uh, the uh, new player number 10 to get into the game. Throw in here, and that ball goes out for another elephant throw in. Nice long throw in, and that ball is gonna go out here for another throw in by Les Elephants. Les Elephants are coming out uh, very aggressive here in this game as they clearly have shown up here to win. Of course, Verdanks uh, is a master uh, of the game and uh, can control themselves rather well. Possession has been at, over to the advantage of uh, Verdanks while they position themselves uh, looking for a way in. A foul here and in a rather dangerous position. Verdanks can uh, convert these, this foul into, uh, into a goal and tie up the game. Looks like in net is uh, Cornelius for um, Les Elephants. Excellent goalkeeping here. Has not been consistent for the entire season, but uh, definitely uh, here at the right time. Cornelius, as you recall, we saw him last year playing for Peaky Blinders and was one of the stars of that final game against FC Jazz. Here comes the ball sinking in nicely and Cornelius is there first to get access to that ball, rightfully so. And he's going to try to clear that ball quickly. Oh, holding there. The Zelefant. Clearing that ball, going over to the top of the left side, over to their defender. And he's going to move that ball in. Switching sides once again, and that ball is going to simply roll out for a throw in for Les Elephants. Throw in here. Dansk. And that ball goes out for uh, another throw in by Les Elephants. Zelefon now looking for that cross in and that ball is going to go out for a corner kick. <laughs> some laughter going on there on the sidelines as uh, some of the staffers. Oh, uh, a nice corner kick here just off of the hands of the keeper. Now a counter. Here's the second goal. Incredible. At the 29th minute of play, we now have a 2-0 game. And the player converted on that corner kick. A very good corner kick at that. Was well placed. Sinks in just off the hands of the keeper. Number 7 tips it in. And, of course, the counter is number 8. And brings it home for their second goal. Verdangs finds himself now at a two-goal deficit after almost 30 minutes of play. And it's a bit on the surprising side. Verdangs is definitely not used to uh, being in this, in this position. Oh, a nice counter here and uh, an opportunity, but uh, well defended by the keeper. Verdangs has never been down two goals throughout this entire season. So this is definitely a first and unfortunately at the wrong time in a semi-final. Opportunity now for counter here. And uh, the defense is there first to stop any possible counter. Oh, foul there. Referee is going to have a word with this uh, player.
passing in. Dropping in. FC Verdansk is there first. Still in control of the ball. Turnover now for Zelfon. Very poor clearing here. Verdansk back on the ball. Switched over once again to Les Elephants. Elephants now on the right side. We're going to look for an opportunity. Oh, a little rough play here. Verdansk, uh, Verdansk is uh, getting a little frustrated here as they are definitely not used to this position. The referee is having a word with Yusuf and asking him to change a bit his strategy. Number 23, Mohamed Algerian. Sending that ball in. And the keeper, uh, the player rather, the defense is there to try to clear. And that ball will roll out for a Verdang's throw in. Oh, player is thrown to the floor, but nothing is there. Referee doesn't uh, feel it's a foul. Ball rolls out again, and it will be a throw-in for Les Elephants. See Verdanks uh, once again moving that ball around. Over on the right side, across in. Looking for that first goal for FC Verdanks. It's only a matter of time. being played, FC Verdanks on top of it, Yusuf now crossing it over over onto the right side but uh, way too hard and that's going to go out for a throw in by Les Elephants and a change is requested here at the 33rd minute, already, already uh, a third of the game has been played. Still looking uh, for that first goal for FC Verdansk. Ball drops in. Little pushing and shoving here. Ball being played up. And right into the hands of Cornelius, the uh, Les Elephant keeper. Cornelius comes from France. And uh, he's here as a student. And uh, rightfully so, found his place with this team. An excellent keeper at that. Oh, offside, offside clearly seen here by uh, first assistant Igor Harkshu. And that ball is going to be brought back uh, in time for Verdanks to look now for that counter. Already played. And for some reason the referees are insisting on the ball to be played where it was called as an offside. Not necessary anymore with the new rule changes. Verdanks uh, simply took advantage of playing that ball quickly so that way they can get that momentum up, but the uh, referee didn't allow it. FC uh, uh, Les Elephants now with uh, another counter. Verdanks. Nothing there. Ball still being played. 
foul there but the referee doesn't feel that it is another foul and this one he calls well played is elephant over on the left side now sending that ball in Verdank's uh, defense is there Verdank's defense sent up this elephant over on the left side still playing high foot there and the referee has picked up on that and will give a free kick wrapping up this uh, first half a rather disappointing first half at that given the fact that it's uh, already 2-0 for Les Elephants Verdanks is definitely not happy about that. That ball is going to be kicked out for a goal kick. <laughs> and uh, ball cleared. You're watching Premiership de Montreal here at the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. We are at Rutherford Park. Downtown Montreal, just off of the uh, McGill University campus. Handball there, rightfully so. Referee picks up on that, and Verdanks is going to look for a, a chance to take that ball quickly, sending it over onto the right side, looking for a touch and go. Nice cross. And uh, seems like an offside here. <coughs> Manor Gavalis, the Greek referee, second assistant, picks up on the player being in an offside position. Moving into an onside position to get access to the ball is considered an offside. And Cornelius will take that free kick and send that ball deep. And an opportunity here, but the defense is there first to get access to that ball on top of the left side. Now crossing it into the middle, back up to the defense. We'll look for a way to change sides probably. Back up in the middle, over onto the left side. And intercepted here by Les Elephants. Good, good little drop in. Defense is there first. Nice cross over on the right side. Opportunity now for Verdanks to get uh, another uh, to get her first goal. Looking for a way in to penetrate in the box. Looking for that cross. Oh, and he falls to the floor, and he uh, touched that ball with his hand. That's a good call. Players on the side arguing here, but it's to their favor. Les Elephants now with the ball onto the left side, moving it into the middle side. Turnover now. Back up once again. And that ball is rolling out and in for a Verdank's throw in. Ooh, uh, rather questionable throw in. Defense is there. And the Zelenfall will keep possession of that ball, try to move it up. Verdanks now on top of the ball. Verdanks. Verdanks still with the ball, still keeping the ball in. Being challenged here. And the defense clears that ball over onto the right side 
The Xenophon still on top of that ball. Ricochet is off of the Verdansk player. Verdansk player is going to kick that in. But the Elephant player is there first. And he's going to send that ball just wide with an open net. An opportunity to go up 3-0. And that ball is just going to roll out for a goal kick. 40 minutes in, the Elephant is up by two goals in a very surprising uh, game so far. Verdansk defense on top of that ball, moving it into the mids. Over on the left side. The Zelefant are there to counter. Possible turnover now. Oh, foul there. And the referee was there at the right time to pick up on that foul. Ball played quickly. And a cross in and just wide. And that ball is going to roll out for a Verdanks kick in. Winners of this game obviously will move on to the next round. In case of a tie game, we will have to move to additional time, two 10 minute halves, according to uh, the CCSL rule book. And then we go straight to, to PKs if the uh, game still remains tied. Nice cross in on the right side. Opportunity now on the right side. Looking for that cross in. Verdanks says still on possession of the ball. Switching sides over to the left. Looking for that cross in. Defense is still putting, pushing them back. And that ball is going to roll out for Verdanks uh, throw in. We have not seen a tie game in the playoffs uh, for a few years now. And so as Verdanks looks for that momentum, they're going to need to tie this game at the very least. Elephone now with possession, crossing it over to the middle. Verdansk very playing fairly well here, performing uh, with few mistakes. Crossing over here. Verdansk's uh, defense is there. The phone now moving that ball around back up to the defensive side and now crossing it in sending that ball back into dangerous territory nothing there the referee says Zelefon still in possession sending that ball back in Verdansk's defense is there looking now for that counter oh a great opportunity here on the right side and unfortunately offside according to Manu Gavalis, the Greek second assistant. It looked like a fantastic opportunity for uh, a possibility of, uh, of scoring, but unfortunately offside. Ball played. And uh, the Zelefar are going to look to move that ball around, or rather slowly, but a turnover now. Verdanks with an opportunity with the dying seconds of this first half. Ball sent in on top of the left side looking for that cross in. Defense defense is there. The Zelefon are going to clear that ball. Verdanks now back in. Back on possession. Crossing it over onto the right side. Number 7 is there for the pickup. Sending it over. Opportunity maybe. And that ball will roll out. for Verdansk throw in. Verdansk now for an opportunity. Ball rolling out for another throw in for Verdansk. We're at the 45th minute of uh, time in this first half going into 
the added time. Seems, seemed to be some kind of pushing there. Uh, referee uh, wanted to get a worded, worded edgewise. Verdanks now crossing in. Player is there. Nice header. Cornelius is there first to uh, recoup that ball. <coughs> that ball is going to sink in. Verdanks, uh, Verdanks with uh, the ball throwing in. And foul now. Verdanks uh, is going to look to capitalize on this error. And unfortunately, uh, kicks out for a throw in. One minute of added time here, according to the referees, but that minute is already up as the fourth official raises his uh, whistle. And there's the, there's the whistle at the halftime. So after 45 minutes of play, we have a score of 2-0 in favor of Les Elephants. We're ready for the second half. And whistle blown. We've changed sides now. Verdansk uh, definitely looking for uh, a way to get back those two goals. I'm sure a, a good little stern talking was given on the bench for uh, for the team to make sure that they get the right momentum to get moving forward into uh, goal scoring opportunities here. Cornelius gets access to that ball. A player is down though, one of his own. And Cornelius is just going to throw that ball out so that way the referee can get a closer look at what's going on with this uh, elephant player. Two nil for Les Elephants. You're watching Premiership de Montreal here at the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. Don't forget to follow this channel, Premiership Soccer, on our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. And of course, clicking on that little bell so that way you get reminded every time a new game gets posted. Premiership de Montreal plays 11 aside football since 2009 here in Montreal, right downtown Montreal. And over on the winter, shifts over to a reduced size football, mini football, 7 aside indoors. Some of the teams continue, while many teams uh, simply just stick to the summer format or the winter format. Few teams do both. And that ball is going to be kicked out for throwing. Over on the right side, defense is there to get access to that ball. That's going to sink in. Back over to Verdanks. Yusuf is on that ball. Oh, foul there. And referee was there to see that action. side here Verdanks with an opportunity right into the defensive side ball is in the air and gonna go straight to Cornelius he's gonna get access to that ball first player is claiming a pass back and that ball is cleared Danks on top of that. And that ball is going to roll out for Averdanks throw in. It's not a pass back, off, obviously, when uh, there's no intention and the referee is reading the game. The intention has to be clear. <laughs> throw in now for the Zelephant. Nice deep throw in. Verdanks is there first. And he's going to kick that out. Another throw in now. D 
deep throw in nice long ball nice shot on net and hits the uh, football crossbar and be considered as an out and uh, goal kick will be taken by the Verdanks team Danks is definitely looking for that momentum. Being down by two goals is not in their habit. The Elephants, of course, uh, looking for that uh, victory so that way they can go into the final. It's their first year in the Premiership. And of course, it would be a great feat for them to move on into the final. Of course, the same thing for uh, the White Eagles as they are also a first year team and they are headed to uh, the final this Sunday it's a fine Thursday evening as we finish off the season with this second of two semi-finals for the Premiership and uh, Sunday will be the great finals day over at the McGill Molson Stadium on the 5th of September this Labor Day weekend Ball rolling out here for another throw in or rather a foul. No, a throw in it is. Verdanks still with the ball, another throw in. PizzaPizza.ca is our sponsor. Always fresh, go ahead and place your order tonight. And of course, VO.co, our automated AI-driven software camera. The only camera that doesn't require a cameraman, as uh, these are the cameras that are bringing you tonight's game. And of course, don't forget to follow Premiership Soccer here on our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button and clicking as well the little bell, so that way you get informed every time a new game gets posted. Ball being sent up here right to the to the keeper, the Verdanks keeper, and cleared. Oh, foul there. That ball being sent out deep. Verdanks is right there with a possibility, but sends that ball way over the head of Cornelius, unfortunately, for a goal kick. That was a good opportunity for a first goal in tonight's game. Cornelius is going to clear that ball. That ball is going deep. Zenefant uh, with an offside call here, but the referee waves it off as the keeper got hold of that ball and he will clear it to his players. Verdanks shifting over to the right, over to Yusuf, still on possession. Turnover now, Elephant has access. Number two, Verdanks now with a counter attack here. Open possibility. And the ball drops by the defensive uh, side. The Elephant clears that ball way up over to the Verdanks zone. Keeper is there first. He's going to pass it over to his uh, defensive side. And uh, looking for that counter now. Ball sent in. Turnover. FC uh, Elephant with the ball over to Cornelius. Back up to the defensive side on top of the left. Back up on the left side. Good little ball through, but the defense is there first. Oh, foul now. As he clipped the player. Played in uh, quickly. 
Good little long ball here. Yusuf is there. He's going to get access to that ball. Oh, possible foul here. Push down. Even the referee is signaling. The, the referee, the referee pull tells the ref, the linesman to pull his flag down. Not quite sure what's going on here. A lot of confusion, even for the players. Seems like the uh, the uh, Verdansk team's player got pulled down in the box. The first assistant, Igor Harkshu, uh, saw it. Referee, is, the referee, fourth official is uh, also addressing it to the captain. The center referee will not have any of it and refuses, uh, has told the referee to pull down his flag because he didn't see it. Not quite sure what's going on. This is definitely frustrating, even for the Verdansk player. Yusuf was the player that was brought down. He's coming off the pitch, grabbing some water. Nobody, Nobody's quite understanding what's going on here. cameras are not panning over to see what's going on but now the referee center referee Foner Sinashu is going to sprint over to his uh, first assistant to have a word with him not quite sure here what uh, Igor Harkshu saw and why uh, Foner Sinashu is not going to be uh, foul now so then uh, the ball is going to be thrown back in oh so then it's it's a throw in advantage Verdansk a lot of confusion here Verdansk plays that ball in Elephant with access here's Verdansk now on top of the ball moving that ball around Defense looking to clear, clears that ball way, way out. Good, good counter. He's alone, number seven, looking to get that goal in, and just saved at the right time, and picked up back up by the Verdansk team over onto the left side, looking to get that ball back in, and that's going to go out for a throw-in. 50, 56 minutes in, the Zelfar are up by a score of two nil. Definitely frustrating that a player went down into the box and the referee waved off his first assistant thrown in here for Danks now foul foul called in favor of Verdanks booking here first booking over to the Zelefon side as he seemed to have been caught holding. For Danks. Good little counter here. No offside called. Oh, player is taken down by the keeper. Nothing called by the referee. Absolutely nothing called. Quite shocking, actually, after seeing that player being taken down by the keeper. It's uh, a bit surprising. Hopefully this game will be able to finish uh, uh, intact without any more of these kind of... Uh, frustrations because this can definitely gener degenerate a game players can lose control foul here as the referee picked up a little shoving and pushing over on the Verdanks side Zelefon will clear that ball over onto the right side Ball kicked in, shifting around over to the defensive side. Going to send it back up to Cornelius. Cornelius clears that ball, and that seems like it's going to go out for a throw-in. Thrown in. 
for Danks. For Danks. Turnover now. That ball sends out for Zelefon throwing. Ball kicked up. Here's another opportunity for number seven. Ball kicked in, and that ball is going to go out for a corner kick. Watching the Premiership de Montreal here as the uh, linesman has picked up his flag here, has indicated something. Camera is panning away. The Danks players are a bit uh, confused here. Definitely seems like some uh, some confusion there, but uh, a corner kick is in order. Change was made. Whistle has now been whistled, and uh, as our camera pans, ball being played in right into the hands of the keeper. And now Verdanks uh, looking for that counter attack. 60 minutes in, we have a 2 0 score for Les Elephants. Yusuf now number 70 right on the right side looking for a nice way to cross in good cross nobody's there though the defense is there first they're going to get access to that ball Elephant is going to clear over on the right side and just out for a throw in for a little, little pushing here Number seven seems to lose a bit of his uh, control. Referee is not going to be giving out any cards here. And ball sent back in here. Tensions are definitely riding high here. As uh, seems like there's some tackling and some pushing, but... Uh, Referee is allowing for the full full uh, game to to proceed. Foul now, advantage for Les Elephants. Number twelve will look for a clear, sending that ball right into the heads of the defense. And Les Elephants now with possession over on top of the left side, looking for that cross in. <clears throat> they are in the box. Nothing is there. Opportunity for number seven. Oh, a good little hand on that from the keeper. And that is saved. Verdanks still with access. And that ball is going to go out for a goal kick. Good piece of defensive work here. The Verdanks that we're used to seeing. We need to see goals though. And especially at this point in the game. 62 minutes played. Foul now. Ball is rolling and we'll bring that ball back into position. Verdanks is definitely the favorites in this game and possession has been in their favor so far into this game. But they find themselves in deficit of two goals. Very surprising for Verdanks. Not necessarily the Verdanks we're used to seeing uh, during the course of this summer season. Throw in here for Verdansk. And uh, ball thrown in. Oh, foul here. And a penalty will be given as the player did not play the ball. The players are a bit confused here and definitely surprised, but referee Fonderson Ashu gives that penalty. Cornelius now will be uh, put to the challenge.
Referee uh, looking to speak to uh, both teams to make sure that uh, they are not riding uh, the line. Explaining to them what he's expecting to see. The Zelophon made a defensive mistake here, which could uh, very much turn the game around. Could give the momentum that Verdanx is looking for. Referee is going to place himself into position. And here's the whistle. And there's the goal. That's the goal they've been looking for. It's 2-1 now for Les Elephants. Momentum now can get started. 65 minutes in. We still have some time to, uh, to get a tie game and hopefully uh, a win uh, into this game. It's definitely, definitely, uh, definitely surprising to see as we just saw the replay. Out for a uh, throw in. Throw in here, Verdanks now. Zelefon. Here's another opportunity for Verdansk. Good cross. And the defense is there first. Here's, uh, here's the Zelefon. And that ball is going to roll out. For a throw in for FC Verdansk. 66 minute here. Zelefon still on top of that ball over to the defensive side. Pressure is on. And the Zelefon are definitely feeling that. Ball over to Cornelius now sending over to the right side. Little pushing here and foul. Shifting now over to the center side, over to the defense. He's going to try to send that ball up. Ball back up to Cornelius. And he's going to take his time to pick up that ball before he gets pressure to do so. He's going to clear that ball out to his defender. And the defense sends that ball over over onto the right side ball still being played nice cross over to the top left side over to the Les Elephant player looking for that cross in here comes that cross number seven is there and defense clears that ball good opportunity here Yusuf on top of that ball ball sent up and cleared it's at this time when you start realizing uh, the pressure that is on for both of these teams as Elephant want to hold on to their lead and Verdansk is obviously looking to catch up. Mistakes can happen and the mistakes are being seen especially on the defensive side for Les Elephants. Nice save uh, for that ball. Ball is still in play. Verdansk now over onto the defense side. Ball sent up. Good opportunity here now on top of the left. Looking for that cross in. Here's the shot. And just wide but still in possession. Oh, a foul there. A terrible foul at that. Whistle was called. Player is down. Yusuf is down. The elbow came right on top of his head. Referee definitely saw that play and it seems a bit uh, confusing because he's standing over the player, injured player. And he gets a yellow card. Rather confusing now. 
Number 70 got a yellow card after being hit on top of his head. Not sure if it was him, but he's definitely, his hands are up in the air. He's trying to figure out what's going on. Players are, are losing their heads here. And it seems like the ball was against... Uh, players are, are off the field, not quite sure what's going on. None of the players... A lot of very harsh language now. Not quite sure what... Uh, a lot of confusion, a lot of pressure here. Referee gave a uh, booking. Oh, a foul here. The player is down on the floor, harsh. The coach is running out onto the field. The ball is still in play. A lot of confusion. Not quite sure what's going on. The ball has uh, been kicked out. The referee is just standing there, noting. Unfortunately, our cameras are panning away from what's happening. There is uh, there is some pushing and shoving here. Players are, are actually onto the field. The, even the referees are there. Fourth official is out there trying to control his players. It's a terrible, uh, terrible uh, situation here because the tensions were definitely rising. Referee is uh, still there uh, while the, his player is on the floor. Something has happened to, uh, to the Verdansk player, not quite sure. Looks like there was a foul there. Players up. Uh, a rather uh, strange gesture there. Not quite sure what's happening. Three whistles have just been whistled. Looks like the uh, game is abandoned. Terrible scenario here. Absolutely terrible way to finish a season. Not quite sure what was going on or, uh, or for that matter, what happened or what transpired with the team. But it seems like it's an abandon of a match. And that will be uh, heading up to the league to make uh, render a decision. After 70 minutes of play, we have a score of 2-1 in favor of Les Elephants. And uh, hopefully we will figure out who is going to go to uh, the, this Sunday's final. This is Robert McCafferty, uh, unfortunately signing off on a rather sour note. This is my last game of this season and uh, a rather shameful way to finish off the season for Verdanks. Robert McCafferty signing off.